Hi everybody, it's Mark here again, and today I'm answering your anxiety questions. And as ever, please keep them coming in. We do love them. There's a magic link below if you have a look that'll let you send us a question, look at what we do, look at testimonials, have a look at our services, and if you want to, you could book that free assessment call with one of our team. So on to your questions. The first one is, does anxiety go away? Now this is a good question. Lots of people get anxious and they leave it, hoping that it's gonna get better. And in a very, very small, percentage of people, it does get better on its own. But typically in order for things to change, we need to change. It might be changing our diet, our lifestyle, our exercise routine. There can be so many things. And typically what we do see is that anxiety gets worse over time. And then when it gets too bad, it becomes more and more expensive to work with. So I always say to people, try and get your anxiety sorted as soon as you can, rather than letting it get worse and becoming quite expensive to sort out. It can get to the point where we can't help but then it might be that you have to go on severe medication for the rest of your life, and that's not a good thing for anybody because that's a whole can of worms as well, but that's best discussed with your doctor. Does anxiety cause high blood pressure? Well, yes, it causes lots of other health issues as we've discussed in other videos. Blood pressure is just a symptom that something is not right. It might be that there's nerves trapped, it might be there's something wrong with one of the organs, or it could be that we're feeling really, really anxious, and it pushes it up there. Now, what we usually say is, toddle off to your doctor, do get that checked, see what's going on, see if there could be another course for it. But if you have got anxiety, get on and get it sorted out because most people as they work through the program find their blood pressure comes down and most of the clients on medication manage to come off it. But again, talk to your doctor about that. Can anxiety cause chest pain? So yes, it's really interesting when we get anxious and tense and that it can be in different places. For me, mine used to be in the neck and the shoulders, but then it moved to around here to the front. Some people and quite a lot of people find they get chest pains and it's what's happening is you've got that unconscious anxiety pattern going again and again telling you there's something wrong and we get the chest pains. So yes, it can certainly cause chest pains. Does anxiety cause shortness of breath? Yes, now very interestingly, quite often when we're anxious, we breathe very, very, very shallowly in the top of our chest. And when we do that, the mix of oxygen and CO2 isn't right. It pushes us further into fight or flight and it causes sort of shortness of breath, loads of problems. The challenge with that is when we feel short of breath, we start to get panicky, it makes anxiety worse, and you're causing another one of these vicious loops. So yes, it can certainly cause that problem. Can anxiety cause dizziness? So again, yes, when it pushes up blood pressure, it can cause these problems. It can also make us feel dizzy, lightheaded. Again, the breathing doesn't help. So again, if that's happening, go and get checked by your doctor, see what's going on, and then find some help to sort your anxiety out. Can anxiety make us tired and lethargic? Definitely. So quite often when we're anxious, we're running the adrenal glands, glands far too hard. We're going at full steam and then we feel absolutely tired and worn out and lethargic and lack of motivation. And this is something we see all the time. It is amazing when people come in like that and then just to see them a few short weeks later, getting out, exercising, doing all the things you need to. But again, we need to make changes to see that change happen. Can anxiety cause stomach pains? So yes, we've discussed this before. The stomach is quite a sensitive area. We feel an awful lot of feelings in there, such as butterflies or when we certainly don't like certain people, we feel it in the stomach. But yes, when we get severe anxiety, it usually causes stomach pains, and not just there, but all over the body. But the stomach's the most common one to feel them. Does anxiety cause depression? Now depression can be caused for many reasons, but what happens with anxiety is typically over time it gets worse. People start to get fed up. They start to lose any sort of faith in that they're going to get better. And then they move into a low mood. And then that low mood moves on onto depression. Now yes, with about half the clients we see, we do work to sort the depression as well as anxiety out. Usually by working the two together, we do see differences. However, that depression can make treatment difficult because people then are not motivated to do things and make changes and it can make it more difficult. So what I suggest is as soon as you know you've got an anxiety problem is go and get some help for it. Don't let it move on to depression. Don't let it get too bad. Does anxiety cause headaches and migraines? Well, certainly yes. So because we're tense, we're tensing different parts of the body, that unconscious pattern's causing loads of problems, it can cause the headaches, it can cause migraines. Again, go to your doctor, get them checked out, and then do something to sort your anxiety out. Does anxiety cause insomnia? Well, yes, quite a lot. We've seen about four or five new clients in the clinic already this month 
who have found they've got insomnia, but it's caused by anxiety. And again, typically as we make those changes, we move into healthier patterns, we work through it, we find the insomnia disappears and things return to normal. So thank you for your questions. Please keep them coming. Look for the magic link and let's get your anxiety sorted.